Hey guys, Miles here at Tactical Hive and it's another Sunday so I want to talk to you about competition shooting again and today I'm going to talk specifically about gear and if you recall in some videos we talked about how the pistol is not going to make you a good shooter but it can absolutely help especially if you are looking for you know you have good skills but you're having a hard time taking to the next level an upgraded gun might help you get over that speed bump. So in this video, we're gonna talk about hybrid guns, guns that are not necessarily stock, but not necessarily really expensive race guns. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Before we get to the content, this video is brought to you by Vetter Holsters. You've probably seen them in our other videos. They're really great holsters for a very good price. They have lots of different designs. They're really fast. They make sure, they quality check everything. They make sure everything is great before they mail it out to you. Check them out at the link below or the link above. Very wide selection. And they're usually one of the brands that will have model holster for your combination of pistol. A lot of different manufacturers out there usually have limited availability or limited selection, but Vetter definitely is one of the brands that have bigger selection. So check them out. In a previous competition video, we talked about how, you know, I've shared my really expensive race guns and we talked about stock guns. And if you are at the top of, let's say you're shooting a stock gun and you're at the top of your class, but for some reason, or I should say maybe top five in your class, and the others are shooting race guns. They're really customized, tuned guns. And for some reason, you just can't beat them. And it may not be, you know, in that instance, it may not be about you anymore and your skill set. It may, this is when the tools that you use, you know, it can make a difference. Where if you're head to head, both the same skill level, now the equipment matters and can give you that little edge. Remember, this does not replace, you know, it's not going to make you a great shooter. A lot, we know a lot of people who get into sport and the tactical world, they'll get a gun and they think like, okay, I'm gonna shoot accurately. They spend five Gs on a gun and then realize they can't hit a target at seven yards consistently, right? So it's pretty crazy, right? So these guns here, um, some of them are ones that I just shot, some of them I've shot them before, are good options. So I've already talked about the Glock 34. This is a go-to, a lot of people use this in competition, but there are other models out there that we haven't talked about. But I'm gonna go from kind of bottom up in terms of cost ranges here. Now, is this the end all be all? No, there's a lot of guns that fall in this hybrid, hybrid, uh, I guess, uh, category or bucket where they're, again, they're not stock guns, they're not race guns. And they're still very reliable. Okay, or can be reliable if you tune them properly and you use the right parts, reliable parts. So the Glock 34 here, this is has minimal customization. It is a Gen 5 Glock 34. It has an upgraded trigger and upgraded guide rod system. And once in a while, I'll change out the barrel too. And this is a great competition gun that will be very reliable that, you know, it, it's going to be better than stock. Okay, well, that trigger is going to make a big difference. The uh, the barrel can make a difference um, in, in practical shooting distances, probably not, but it can make a difference in longer longer ranges. And the guide rod does help with uh, a little bit with recoil and muzzle rise. And this setup will run you about base, if you're buying the Gen 5 34, probably around $600. And then with all the other stuff there, and depending on the red dot that you choose, it might go up to 1500 with everything on there. But this is a good gun that will be reliable and will perform, perform better than their stock gun. Then we move up the ladder here, we have a, the SIG X5 stock, and this you can change things as well. Now this runs about $1,000. Now also you can add you know any red dot you want, any the guide rods you can change. And this is something that's used a lot as well, in sport competition and SIG also has their X5 Legion which has been used a lot in sport too. So there's different upgrades that you can do. You can go crazy with whatever upgrades you want to use but this is a very good option. Now something I just shot today which really blew my mind was the SIG DH3. This is a gun that they're touting has been, it's from their custom works department that is good for competition. It's good for duty. It's reliable, an overall great gun. And I have to say, I, we're not sponsored by SIG at all. Okay. We don't get anything for, for saying this, but it was a really good gun. So if you can get your hands on it, try it out. Okay. I wouldn't say just buy it blindly. Although if you, if you trust me, then yeah, get it. It's a good gun. Um, but this is something that when I first held it and shot it, was very comparable to some of the lower end race guns that I shot, which says a lot. So this, I believe runs or starts about 1500, if I, if I recall correctly. So the price of this gun at about 1500, and based on what I felt, it 
I mean, compared to a lower end race gun, this is tremendous value. Now I haven't shot it a lot, okay? So I haven't torture tested this like my SIG P365 where I put tons of rounds through it. So I don't know if it's going to be very good. Now race guns, as you guys are aware, if you've watched this channel and paid attention to our Sunday videos, race guns are finicky. I mean, I've had crazy love-hate relationships with my race guns, right? So if this is a gun that is going to run reliably, you can count it all the time, wow, I mean, that's a great value. But again, I haven't tested it, but this is just first impressions. Now, what we have here is the Staccato line. And the Staccato line, if you guys are familiar with Staccato, they're really being making a big push for being a great duty gun. A lot of cops, LE departments are using them. This is the Staccato P. And I forgot if I mentioned this, this is the SIG DH3, but this is the Staccato P. And the base price is about 2,100. You can upgrade it and all of these guns, you can add more things to it to increase the price, of course, and uh, potentially performance. But the Staccato P is something that has been known to be very reliable. And it is also a gun that you can use in competition. It is gonna have the features that are gonna help you shoot a little bit better. It is a 2011 platform. It is heavier. And a lot of race guns are part of that 2011 family. So they are again, in the same family here. So these guns, these all four guns are going to be great options, hybrid options that you can rest assured they're going to be reliable and also give you that added performance. Of course, depending on your budget, you may want to go, you know, you may want to go start with a Glock here and then work your way up. It's not to say the Glock is bad at all. You can Remember, sky is the limit. You can upgrade this in so many different ways. Of course, the upgrades that you add can also depend on the division you are shooting. Some divisions will allow you to add compensators, things like that, other divisions won't. So you have to consider that. But these are all four guns that I've tried that are really good. Once again, I'm super impressed with the DH3. I, I definitely need to get, this is in mine, so I'm gonna probably steal it. But uh, this is something I'm gonna look into getting because it's just really, I mean, it, it's a fabulous gun. But um, again, haven't tested it completely. But the main point here, guys, is if you're watching this, you're into competition. If you think you need to get a really fancy gun, you don't need to. And if you think you need to spend buku bucks to get one uh, or to perform well, you don't. These are very good options that fall in between. I do want to reiterate because it happens all the time. A lot of people will buy the equipment and think it's going to automatically make them a good shooter. One thing that you can do is if you, the way I look at it is if you can really perform well with a stock gun, or let's say you start off with this hybrid, a G3, 34 upgraded a little bit and you can shoot extremely well now imagine you get your hands on one of these other guns you're going to be really up there in your performance so if you start off here you're going to build good mechanics and the foundation and everything else is just the, the now the tool is going to really take you to the next level where a tool can't necessarily take you to the next level if your foundation isn't there so I hope you guys like that quick video on a hybrid type of gun for competition. As always, guys, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next week.